And good morning. Today is Tuesday the 29th of June and I'm up and I've just made myself a cup of tea and um, I'm just finishing, I, I edited last night's video, yesterday's video last night and it got way past my bedtime and I was like right okay, need to abandon ship and go to bed. So I left it exporting so I've just literally just uploaded yesterday's video. They're going to go up on the same day, we can deal with that. Um, yes, so this is day one of Juice Detox, which is very exciting. Um, obviously so far I'm fine, I had uh, food last night, so I've got plenty of food in my tummy. So I don't have any like food cravings or anything like that thus far. Obviously prepared my juices last night, ready to go for today because I've got a very, very busy day. The time is currently 10 to 7, I've been up for about half an hour-ish. Um, just sorting out last night's video and uploading it and whatnot. Um, so my plan is to get ready and then head to the gym, have a workout, and then go to work. So I think probably a better idea is to take my juices with me, my breakfast juice with me, rather than have it now. Um, because I'm not massively hungry yet and I think it'll probably be more beneficial after my workout. So I'm gonna try all that, see how I go. Um, so in terms of like, we've we've had like these sort of bottles for a long time, which are sort of like, we originally got them for a juice detox before and they're really handy. So yeah, I'll be taking I'll be taking two of them with me for breakfast and for my lunch and I've also grabbed just a bunch of teas to take to have herbal teas while I'm at work. I think I have some there. I've definitely got one pack of pucker teas but obviously it's good to have variety. So yeah, I'm gonna drink my tea, get ready and then head to the gym. But happy Tuesday guys and happy first day detox to me. So I'm just out of the gym and that was a really great workout. I did, uh, I don't know how long I went in total. My Fitbit, I think is saying that I got in and started my workout at, uh, what time? 7.57, so just before eight, is that right? I think I did about an hour and a half workout in total. I wasn't really tracking it um, and I don't know if my Fitbit picked it up but if it did I'll insert the whatever it says here, whatever like calories burned and whatnot. Um, but more excitingly it's now time for my first juice. So it is 9.53 and um, I'm literally just about to set off to work and I've got my juice, I've got two juices here with me. I'm going to have this one. Um, which is a green juice and I sort of like planned to pour them out into a cup so you could see the colour and I'll explain what's in them and blah 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 however I didn't really work I didn't really sort of like plan to be going to work on the very first day well into the studio on the very first day of my detox so um, this is the green juice and this is 251 calories and um, just dead quick as well I've, I'm not going to be tracking my macros over the course of the detox. I'm only going to be counting my calories. And the only reason I'm counting my calories is to make sure that I am not going way, way, way under. Um, just to kind of keep a track of it. So, 251 calories in the green juice. And if you haven't watched yesterday's vlog, um, towards the end of it, I actually make these juices and do show you what's in them. Um, and probably from tomorrow onwards I'll probably insert like a little clip of the recipe and everything as well so yeah that's it uh, 251 calories for breakfast and I'm about to set off to work I'm actually filming 
filming on my phone at the moment so I'm sorry if the quality um, of the video and the sound is a little bit different but um, I'm just I'm still at work and I'm just on my way to pick up um, a Costa drive through for the studio I'm not getting one for myself obviously because um, coffee isn't part of my juicy top um, so I'm just gonna make myself a bit of a green tea or a herbal tea or something when I get back into the studio but this is like one of the first sort of opportunities in my detox on day one where I'm presented with this sort of like situation of whether you know like you're going to get something for somebody else and so far zero cravings to to sort of like have a coffee I'm not thinking oh, I'm being deprived or I'd really want to have one myself or anything like that I'm just more than happy to have my juice so I've started to drink my lunchtime juice which you probably will have seen and that is uh, I inputted all the calories and information and stuff for that uh, with the little shot and it's so delicious so so yummy I have missed juices so much there's just something about them especially when you make them fresh and you know that 100% like what's gone into that juice is just pure fruits and vegetables um, there's just something really good about knowing exactly what's gone into your body um, and it's just really tasty and I'm not I'm not saying that like and not it's not true it's honestly the truth the juices taste incredible, like so, so delicious. Um, I'm not sort of like missing the sort of routine of eating. Uh, there's, there's kind of like, there's kind of a point where I'll likely get to and you kind of just want to eat, eat something, whether it's like a piece of lettuce. Uh, the last time I did the juice detox, I really started craving like plain ham packages is very bizarre um, so I don't know if I'll have any cravings this time around or whether because obviously over the last six months I've, I've dramatically changed my diet anyway so whether that will have any kind of implications on what my body how my body reacts this time around I don't know but so far so good um, it's what's the time it's two o'clock in the afternoon I've managed to smash through a load of my work so I'll probably just sort of like tie up a few loose ends um, and then start heading home. England are playing Germany this evening and I'm sure Jim will want to watch that. So that'll be on in the background while I edit my video more than likely. Um, but yeah so far so good. Not feeling any kind of like withdrawals from anything. But then again, it is day one, so possibly to be expected, it's expected at some point. But so far, so good. So I'm just driving back from Costa now to the studio. And I have a cheese tasty for somebody, uh, obviously not for me. And it smells absolutely divine. And it's so interesting, isn't it, how we can be not hungry and then there's a smell we smell something and then instantly we become hungry I find that really fascinating apparently as well I don't know how true this is I've, I've heard this somewhere years ago but in most supermarkets as you walk in through the doors there's like an artificial smell of food or cooking or something um, that's scientifically proven make you hungry even when you're not hungry so walking into the supermarket smelling that smell apparently makes you buy a percentage more shopping than if you would do if you hadn't have smelled the smell and just like science behind you know food and why we eat and why we'd make choices to eat certain things it's just so fascinating to me and I hope along this journey I do discover and learn so much more about it but there's an element of me that just has a thirst for knowledge 
change about our bodies and why we behave the way we do, why some people can sit and eat sort of like 10 McDonald meals one after the other and be okay with that and some people, you know, starve themselves and they don't eat and they're scared of food, you know, it's just, it's just very, very interesting how people get into a place of a distorted relationship with it. But more commonly, like just in nature, I think it's obviously your senses are so important. Your sense of smell is hugely important in um, in certain aspects of life. And I'm very much I I think over the years since being a very very little girl, I've been influenced to eat based off my senses so like what I'm watching what I'm smelling what I'm doing and things like that and I think I, I do I do genuinely believe my distorted relationship with food stem, stems from a very early age like a very very early age um, so yeah I just thought it was really interesting smelling a bit of cheese on toast made me feel incredibly hungry however I've got I've got juice to finish when I get back to the studio so hopefully that should satisfy me and I'm gonna make a cup of tea so I'm sure that will as well but yeah in the interest of trying to be transparent I thought it was probably best to sort of document that so I was fine until I smelt the cheese on toast so I've just got home from work and it's 10 past four and I have made myself a cup of blackcurrant herbal tea and I've also got a pint of 500 millilitres of coconut water. So the zero calories in the tea and in 500 millilitres of coconut water that is 70 calories. So I'm going to just sort of like wind down from the drive. Um, I'll probably get changed, let my tea cool, drink my water. And then it's kind of weird because I guess I'd usually be preparing for tea, which is, it's kind of nice to have that time um, and not have to think like, what am I making, weigh it out, all that kind of thing. So it's kind of, kind of nice to have a bit of a break from that. Um, hunger levels, I am feeling a bit hungry, however I think once I've had my tea and my water I think I'll be completely fine. So I have two juices left for the day, um, I'm planning to have the second one probably at about 5 o'clock-ish and then probably the other one, I don't know what time after that but at some point after that. Um, Energy levels are fine. Obviously I went to the gym this morning and did my workout and stuff but I probably was fuelled by the food I ate yesterday. So it'll be interesting to see as the days go along if that is altered, like how I feel about my workouts, whether I get more energy or less energy. Who knows? We will see. So I'm going to go and enjoy this, take a beverage to gym as well and I guess I'll see you when I have my next juice. So it's now five to six and I'm gonna have my dinner juice, which is a celery pear cucumber and this is 151 calories. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go drink this now.
just finished making all the juices for tomorrow. I'll let you know what they are when I have them tomorrow along with the calories. But just wanted to show you, um, if you watched yesterday's, or this morning's video, you will have seen the fridge full of fruits and vegetables. However, there you go. Completely empty, other than a fair few oranges at the bottom, so not completely empty, but this was absolutely crammed, full of fruits and vegetables, all in packs of kale, spinach, carrots, apples, pears, you know, all gone. And we've gone through a fair amount of the lemons, we've got two lemons left. In fact, we had two lemons already in the basket, so We've actually used all the lemons that we've bought. We haven't opened the limes yet. We've gone through a fair amount of the ginger. So, there you go. All that fruit and vegetable juice like has been consumed over two days. Um, and I personally don't think I'd be able to eat that volume of fruits and vegetables over two days. So it's a great way to sort of like condense the nutrients and flood your body full of goodness. So, had a little bit of a hiccup. The juice that we made yesterday, the ginger pear snap one, um, I just went to serve it for me and Jim, and I think it started fermenting or something happened in the bottle because it just wasn't right, it didn't smell right, didn't taste right. So, um, we decided not to have that because obviously it didn't taste good and don't know what was going on with it. Um, so instead, we actually had a bottle of like pure tomato juice from a while ago. Um, but as it's just all natural tomato juice with nothing added in it, it saved the day. So we're gonna have that. I'm also gonna have plenty of coconut water throughout the evening slash night, and I'm probably gonna have a fair amount of herbal teas. So, I'm gonna end the video here. I think first of all, it's probably a good idea just to say how I'm feeling and whatnot. Um, I'm doing all right. I'm not like craving, there's obviously cravings for food. Like, I wouldn't, I don't know, how can I explain how I feel? I think just because I've sort of decided I'm doing this, I'm like trying not to welcome any feelings for failure, I don't know. I don't like to fail at something if I've set out to do it. So, I think although there is like, right now in my tummy I'm not hungry. I don't feel like massively hungry. I'm not like ravishing. Um, so, yeah, I can't really say that it's feeling too difficult right now. I always find it really difficult if I've got a grumbly tummy to fall to sleep, but I'm gonna download an audio book to listen to tonight. So that should help. And hopefully the water and everything like that will keep me energized and keep me full. Um, so I'm looking forward to drinking my tomato juice. As we know, I love tomatoes in any form. Um, so that's a treat. And yeah, it's not been too difficult. And obviously I was at work today over in the studio and stuff, so it was good to be out of the house and still sticking to what I had set out to do. So I think day one has been a success. And it is 20 past eight, all the juices are prepped and made, everything's clean. Um, so I can edit my video, I think I'm gonna have a nice bath and then have a really lovely early night. So yeah, day one has been a super success so far obviously it's only eight so we've got the rest of the evening to go but um yeah so far so good so i'll just i'll just sort of show you how i have done today in ter calorie terms obviously i'm not too focused on on this really but i feel like it might be insightful to people to see so obviously on my diary now, um, there's no macro goals, it, there's just calorie goals and to be fair, I don't really have, this isn't really my calorie goal as such at the moment, I'm just drinking as much juice as I feel I need 
Um, so if that took me over 1,300 calories, I wouldn't be concerned. If I'm under, I'm not massively concerned. Um, but just in sort of like transparency, there we go. And obviously everything that I've eaten today, you have seen, I've included. I haven't had anything else. The only other things I'm gonna have is coconut water and tea but there there are calories so if I go ahead com complete my diary if every day was like today in five weeks i'd weigh 13 stone 8.6 i don't think i could i don't think i could maintain this for five weeks so um however i do think it's gonna do me the world of good so that's it for juice detox day one so far so good, feeling energised and raring to carry on, not like, don't really have any major food cravings, nothing like that, I'm not feeling tired, I'm not feeling dizzy, I've got no headaches, so far no withdrawals, so that's great. Um, so that's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps my channel and more importantly, it does make me smile. And let me know how you're getting on in the comments. I've still got so many to catch up with, um, but I'm really looking forward to reading them all and catching up with you guys. So please keep me updated and I will see you tomorrow for day two of this little Juice Detox mini series. And until then, stay happy, healthy and well. Bye.